Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial on my uh, channel. Today we're going to be looking at how to install Vocal Dispatch for LSPDFR. So the first thing you want to do is go to lspdfr.com, well lcpdfr.com, type in uh, Vocal Dispatch and you'll come to this page. So Vocal Dispatch is where you can talk to dispatch and dispatch, uh, I would say like 80% of the time responds back saying 10-4 or whatever. So uh, download this one, so click download and download the latest version. So uh, once you've done that, go to wherever it's downloaded. So hit, for me, it's on my desktop. Double click that, open this up, close that. What you want to do is open up your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. So the one you want to install it in. What you want to do is copy LSPDFR plugins and this one over uh, into your game. Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. See this, so after this part, most people um, get this part wrong. To get Vocal Dispatch to work, you need to go into your settings on Windows. To so go to your settings, type in speech into the search bar. Then what you want to do is go down to here and make sure the speech language is set to English United States. If it's set to any other language, uh, it won't work. So make sure it's set to English United States. So if you have a mic, what's not uh, actually on, I don't know, for example, on your computer or laptop or gaming laptop or whatever, um, make sure you set the one you use as your pr primary one to your default one, okay? So to do that, into the settings search bar, click that and type in sound, which will come up to here. you got this one. And then you want to go down to your input and make sure you click on the one that you use, okay? So make sure that is your default one. So that's... Then other than that, everything should work. So what you want to do is go to the INI file, so plugins, LSVDFR, and then you want to go to vocal dispatch INI. And this is where you can change settings if you want to. Uh, so, so if you uh, see my LSVDFR videos, you see at the bottom it says, uh, like, it says like, uh, vocal dispatch below uh, just above the minimap you can turn that off here if you want to so you can put that to false so when you speak and it doesn't recognize what you said it's um, if you change this one to true then it will still say 10-4 or um, anything like just saying yes that's, yeah so uh, you can change that to true that's probably the best thing to do so you change that to true Boom. Uh, play uh, PTT sound. So when you click the button, it make a sound like you pressed um, a uh, radio. So that's probably more realistic to leave that one on. And that's the spawn uh, backup. So that's how far they were spawned away from you. So if they spawn too close, then you can uh, put that number up. Or if you want them to spawn closer, you put that number down. So like 200 or 100 if you want it closer to spawn to you so the this is the part where you can see uh, so when you press the button it will begin the sound like uh, so you can speak so the begin listening uh, key is uh, right menu so this uh, refers to right alt key so you see here so that refers to the right alt key so if you look on your keyboard you should see just next to the space bar, you should see the alt key. So that be your key to uh, to activate uh, vocal dispatch. So if you want the uh, panic button as well, so you have, that's the right control key. So the R means right. So if you look on your keyboard, you see the right, all the way to, right, all the, way to the uh, up, down, left and right arrows. So you've got the control key. So that would be the panic button. So if you want it to, if you want to do it on your uh, controller, this is where it is here. So you've got the D-pad up button for the to uh, 
listen to um so for them to listen so you can talk and the panic button is left shoulder button and then this is where you can set your uh name so your uh division unit number so you can have i think it's from zero to ten i think that's right and then you got any of those ones uh from a to z, uh, z. And then you got the beep, so from I think it's one to twenty-four. I think it should say on here, yeah, one to twenty-four. See there, one to twenty-four. So you can change them. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Okay, so that's all the ionized for it. So you can save that. So now launch up your game, and I'll be back when the game is launched. So once you're in the game, you want to force duty. It won't work otherwise. So now you are force dutyed. So now, if you uh, press that ALT key, so the one right of the spacebar, it should make a noise and then you could speak, say, this is for example, right? Dispatch, show 124 code 4 10 8 available for calls. I haven't got a clue what that means, but I have never had that come up before. Requesting coroner. Roger that. One Lincoln 18. That's what normally comes up when the when uh, vocal dispatch doesn't understand what you just said. Requesting coroner. Roger. Request code three backup. We have an officer requiring assistance. There you go. So that's requested uh, code two backup, but I said code three, but it's. <laughs> whatever um, if you have ultimate backup installed it works so much more better so you can have a uh, load of um, so you can call uh, prisoner transport tow truck uh, coroner ambulance fire all different police FBI and SWAT um, you can call air unit but I can never get air unit to work but that's about really it with the uh, voice dispatch uh, local dispatch I should say so if you, if that helped then please leave a like comment and subscribe would be very appreciated um, if you have any questions on um, anything to do with LSPDFR then comment uh, comment in the comment section below or comment, uh, message me on discord um, you'll probably get a better uh, response there as I'm quite active on there other than that thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video